So it took Tim Zhu a matter of seconds to dispatch of Carlos Acampo. He completely flattened him in round one. Uh, if you want a breakdown of how this fight went, if you can call it that, it was, as I say, a matter of seconds where Tim Su landed a couple of right hands, hurt and then dropped to Campo. Campo got up, was hurt with another right hand, and then Tim Su closed the show with a massive left hook that almost sent a Campo through the ropes, uh, almost standing him on his head, but fortunately he didn't fall through the ropes. Referee called it off. No arguments. This was um, as one-sided as a fight could be. Carlos Campo really didn't stand any chance. And I feel like that's what we kind of expected. Carlos Acampo, whenever he's stepped up to the highest level, he's lost here against Tim Zhu. Before that, his last step up was Sebastian Fondora. Not as dramatic a result. He lost the 12-round unanimous decision. Fondora, I guess you could say he's an up-and-comer, kind of a prospect. He's a young guy, uh, freakishly tall at the weight. He's a little bit of a freak show because he's so lanky and skinny for 154 pounds. And before that, his last and probably first um, uh, high-profile fight was was Errol Spence. And that was five years ago. Uh, five years ago on the 16th. So that's crazy. Time just flies, flies by so quickly. And some of you may remember that Errol Spence dealt with him in a round as well. So Tim Su, in reality, did what he was supposed to. So I guess you can only give him so much credit. However, if... I'm going to kind of look at the grand scheme of things. There have been fighters in the past who are on the cusp of a big fight, as Tim Su may be, against Charlo. And sometimes there are fighters who, they're fighting this less than stellar opposition in the lead up to that big fight, looking to stay active and keep the rust off. And they look bad or they look subpar and one-paced and not impressive. Tim Su, he's fighting this lower level of opposition, yes, but he's blown them away. So you can't really ask for much more of that. If he's fighting less than stellar opposition, but he's dealing with them in this kind of fashion, you know, you can't really grumble at that. Uh, Tim Su, as I say, is pretty much on the cusp of an undisputed fight with, uh, or fighting for the undisputed title against Jamel Charlo because Tim Su is WBO interim champion. And as such, you know, these silly trinkets in boxing, but that basically signifies that he's mandatory challenger for the WBO belt. And I say bring that fight on next. Charlo, he isn't the most active fighter, uh, not as active as you'd like to see an undisputed champion. But, you know, Charlo, I like Charlo. He's a, he's a fighter you get stuck in. He may not be the best technically, but personally, I find the Charlo is quite entertaining to watch. Um, they just get stuck in. They're quite wild in the ring. They're quite explosive. And Tim Su is a fighter who's impressed me over the past couple of fights. For those of you who didn't see my uh, coverage of the Tony Harrison fight, in the pre-fight video, I actually picked Harrison to, to beat Su. I just felt that Su hadn't impressed me previously against Terrell Gachet. Um, thought Tony Harrison was a bit too wily. I didn't think the style would suit Su. But, hey, he proved me wrong and dealt with Tony Harrison big time, like real brutal finish, did the same against Acampo, shows that he's firing on all cylinders, shows that he's not overlooking any of these lef lower level opposition that are in front of him in the lead up to this Charlo fight, potential Charlo fight. And so surely now, you know, uh, Charlo versus Tzu in September or something, I don't know, maybe that's a bit too much of a turnaround, but certainly in the... Um, or too little turnaround rather, surely by the end of this year we should see these two fight. And I think that's a great fight. If that gets made, I cannot wait. I think it's a good clash of styles. I think both guys uh, at or close to their prime. And I think they'll both want to prove a point as well. You've got Tzu, who's seemingly been waiting a long time for his title shot. Um, and you've got Jamel Charlo, as I say, Quite a fiery character, a very explosive character in and out of the ring. Fights with a lot of tenacity and has obviously got a lot of ability as well. So, yeah, bring that one on. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to do some more homework, though, before I think of a, uh, a prediction for that one. Because I think that's a close fight. It wouldn't surprise me if either man won. So, as I say, bring that one on. Sue's certainly impressed me. 
obviously doing what he's supposed to do, but he's doing it in, in good fashion. So it'll be interesting to see if that fight gets made next. Those are just my thoughts, however. What did you think of this one-sided flattening of Carlos Acampo by Tim Zhu? And how do you fancy his chances should he go into a fight against Jamel Charlo in the foreseeable future? Leave it down below and I get back to you. But for now, thanks for listening and I'll catch you on the next video.